Oh, uh, there's not too much blood on the cow's eye when we get them. Yeah. The cow's eyes, act, uh, eyes actually don't run on blood. They run on a special type of fluid that's clear. There we go. We'll show you that soon. All right. So now, um, you can see the shape of the eye. Look at it. It looks fake. <laughs> it's fake? No, it's real. I think it's pretty fresh. Ah, cool. Cool. Oh, Are you getting a video or? Yeah. Video, oh, okay. video guy. Alright, so there you go. And so if you look at the pile of fat that's left over, um, you can see there's quite a bit. And that's not necessarily because the cow was a very fat cow. That's because um, the eye actually needs a lot of fat around it to protect it from scraping against the skull. I see the blood. That's big grass. There's a lot of blood on the cow. And now, um, now, now we're going to make an incision into the cornea. That's the front of your eye, the part that the light goes through. Oh, yeah. It's not going to squirrel anything out. No, I'm going to have it facing down. Oh. And so that fluid that came out is the vitreous humor. It's, it's the aqueous humor. Um, yeah, it's like the aqueous humor basically um, has all the nutrients oh, the eye eyeball. To, to keep itself running. It's kind of like blood, except it doesn't have oxygen in it. So basically, Ew. Um, Ew. we can't have blood in our eyes because blood isn't clear. And if we had blood, we wouldn't be able to see through it. And that's why we have this clear blood light. That's so, so cool. So now he's going to make an incision into the sclera. That's the white part of our eye. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh! And so I was going to use that incision to cut around. Ah, oh, here's the brain. <laughs> Are you filming it? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So we're going to focus on the front That's part. a cutaway. All right. And so that, that clear um, jelly-like substance is the vitreous humor. Yeah. Um, it's made out of water and proteins, and it helps the eye keep its shape. Sitting on that, we have the lens, which does about 20% of the focusing for the eye. And around that, we have the ciliary body, which uh, pushes or pulls on the lens to make sure it has the right shape to let the right amount of to, the picture of it. Are you going to pop it? No, I can't. No, uh, I'm not really going to pop it. He's just going to pull it out so that we can play with the lens a bit. I don't want to play with it. Oh, you don't have to. I will. <laughs> what? So, kind of, yeah. 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 Kind of like gross. This lens is a bit cloudy, but, um... On a, on a fresher, nicer lens, you can see everything through it upside down. And that has to do with the shape of the lens. It's because it's a double convex lens, which means it's curved outwards on both sides. So anything that comes in will come out upside down. And when um, the information from stuff that we see hits our eyes, it actually gets into the, into the back of our eyes upside down. And we have a part of our brain that flips it over. Do you no, we don't kill the cows. And so we have we have a uh, the back of our brain, which is the um, optical the optical lobe, um, which will uh, flip everything that we see so, upside down. Who so who just cut the eye? Huh? Who just cut the cow eye? Oh, the the butchers. Because they use the meat, but they don't need the eyes. Because no one's gonna buy the eye to eat. So we buy them, and so we dissect them for you guys. That's a, it feels like a rock, or um, hey, it's like oh, this? don't touch it, don't touch it. Um, so this is this is like a waxy layer. Oh, okay. <clears throat> waxy so I'm just layer. gonna go ahead and squeeze it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's basically just yeah. Can we go, it, mom? Hold its own About four times. So, uh, so now he's gonna pull off the iris ring. That's the color part of our eyes. 
the cow's iris rings are very dark, but our, eyes, our iris rings can be different it? colors depending on what color eyes we have. No, the eye. So that's the iris ring. And so this is actually a muscle, and it... And we call a muscle anything that moves, and so this will open up or close up depending on how bright it is outside and how much light we need to enter our eyes to see. If we have it too open and it's too bright, we're going to have too much light go inside our eyes. And if it's um, not light enough, then it has to open up to make sure we get enough light. Is it done yet? So, back of the eye? Yes, now at the back of the eye we have the retina, which is uh, actually retina? considered as part of the brain by a lot of... Uh, the retina? This is the retina. This little thing dangling right there. Oh, can we go now? <laughs> and so this is the part where um, light hits the back of the eye and it gets converted into information that our brains can actually understand. And so we get about a billion bits per second going to the retina. And then that point that it was hanging from is the blind spot. And at that part, there's no rods or cones, which means there's no cells that will convert light into anything. And so there's actually a spot where we can't see. And the way we make up for that spot is we have two eyes. And so we fill it in with information from the other eye. Uh, so the tapetum is this, uh, this, the blue shiny thing, it looks kind of like the back of a shell. Only um, nocturnal animals and cows have it because it, what it does is it, the light will hit the retina and then hit the tapetum and then reflect off of it and go back into the retina. So you get twice as much light going into the retina, but once again you have... Um,